It is normal here for animals to graze along the school compound. It is also usual to see people studying under trees just meters away from the animals. And this is Kikashigo Basic School in Boku Municipality in the Upper East Region. This is the hour hand. I get in that. Yes. The hour hand faces at three o'clock. It faces at what? Three. three and the minute hand faces at six. So we are going to start. Every day, from these people go the to school hand. under the most difficult condition. Our hand. Our hand. Our hand. And this long hand is called the minute. Nine eight. eight a.m. That is if it is in the morning. You say a.m. Nine. So whenever a motor is passing, when I'm teaching, the children will turn and look at the motor. And whenever there's any noise around, or when an animal is moving, making noise, they tend to look at the animals, how to shout on them, so that I'll bring their concentration back to the class. But still, they, you know, have in mind to look back, or turn around to look at the most noise, where the noise is coming from. Like in the Hamatan season, the wind, if it blows, our nose is to the extent that we can't even cope up. You know, our eyes, and then when a heavy wind is coming, we have to run to the classrooms. We can't even. But this is not the only problem here. This is where the school feeding program is prepared for the peoples. In a country where education is paramount, the quality, however, remains questionable. People have no choice but to sit and write on cement blocks for the day's lesson. This makes their future bleak. I was at Zule Primary School and I transferred last year to this place. So Asana is one year now. And now if Asana, we don't even have teaching learning material. We don't have books for the children to use it. And when we go to GES, a lot of complaints. So we only manage to help them. Sometimes I go to other different schools. I have a friends. So I even contact some of my friends to help me with textbooks to teach these children. Yes, I do, yes. I have two eyes, I have two eyes, one nose, one nose. Staying focused on the lesson rather than the stray animals is a daunting task for the peoples who are constantly distracted by the animals. The challenge is more daunting for primary one to three whose permanent classrooms are under the tree. Just when you hope the challenges are over, another comes up. Okay, this what? Huh? 53. 52. 53 is equal to 5 tenths and 3 ones. Huh? 5 tenths and 3 ones. My name is Agunru Gassen. I'm taking primary one. One time I was taking when a snake fall from the tree. It wanted to bite the children and they have to run away. Second time too, we were there taking. I was taking when a snake too came again. I wanted to bite the children and they ran away. This is the most difficult problem that we are facing in this school. To be frank, their future is not safe because P1, even if they are going to P2 or P3, they are going to compete with those schools who are having better, better classrooms. If they are going to write exams, the same exams, especially when they set it within the district level, they set the same questions with those who are sitting on the trees here. That's our problem. Our major problem is the lesson. Their future will not be saved. I have 22 people in my class. And because of the classroom and then lack of furniture, some of the children even run away to other schools where they, are, where they can have better seats. 
the only hope for these anxious children is that the government would fix their challenges to give them better involvement for sound education. Mahmoud Mohammed Nuruddin reporting. Put the books down. Uh, yes, yes. Okay.